Hey FlossTube, welcome to Creative Woman Studio. I'm back. It's been a month since my last video and that was not even a regular floss tube. That was me talking about my new releases. So it's been about six weeks. I'm so sorry. Which makes it difficult when you come back after six weeks because there's a lot to discuss and a lot to talk about and a lot to share and I don't want to forget anything but I probably will. <laughs> So welcome to my floss tube channel. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you for joining me again. I'm so excited to share with you cross stitch and punch needle and rug hooking and all the things that just are in my brain. <laughs> I want to share them with you. So what has been going on? Well, since I saw you last, my friend Kristen came into town for, I think it was four or five days. Oh, it was glorious. Her and her daughter and her grandson came up and we had so much fun together. So much fun. And then after she left, I want to say I had like four days. I can't remember. It, it's all a blur. And then we went to Missouri and then we came home from Missouri and I had basically one day to work, the next day with the grandkids, and then the next day I went to a retreat that Barbara Johns put on, Stitching with Grammy. She is doing retreats in Michigan under the headline, or the, not headline, but <laughs> under the title of um, Great Lakes Stitchers Retreats. And she had her very first one in Port Huron, and it was a fabulous Chrissy finally a farm girl was our guest designer fabulous so much fun I can't wait to talk about that so that's coming in this episode also I while Kristen was here I had submitted a punch needle to Sauter Village rug hooking week and while Kristen was here I needed to go pick it up so I had that scheduled before I knew she was coming and she ended up, uh, her, her daughter ended up going, it's a long story. It doesn't really matter. But anyway, they have, there's relatives here. <laughs> Kristen's ex sister-in-law lives here too, which is also a friend of mine. And so they hung out together while Kevin and I went down to Archbold, Ohio, where Sauter Village is at. And once a year, there is what they call rug hooking week. And they have um, amazing, amazing rug hookers submit their rugs and there's prizes. There are vendors, there are classes, there's workshops, there's lectures. It's fabulous. It's so awesome. I was a vendor and I taught punch needle there. It was probably 10 years ago now. I, it was a long time ago. Anyways, I had entered my large oh you can see it back there i'll go grab it i sent this in because it's it's a rug hooking week it's it's like 90 percent rug hooking but they <clears throat> also show uh, wool applique they show punch needle they show rug punching some different styles of rug hooking like proddy and different things like that so Anyways, I put this in the show, in the little punch needle section. It's a very small section, but I just wanted to support my first love, <laughs> which is punch needle. Punch needle brought me to the, the dance. If it wasn't for punch needle, I wouldn't be designing cross stitch. So it's, it's a good thing, or I wouldn't be designing hooked rugs either. So. This is the largest punch needle I have ever done. As you can see, just that bird right there is about the size of my hand. So this is huge. It took a ton of floss. I do sell this pattern in our Etsy shop. 
But anyway, it, it's from a painting that I did many years ago, and I just love the looks of this. There we go. That looks pretty good there. So yeah, let me put this back. So that's what's been going on. I, you know, I had that new release and like a week and a half later is when we went to Missouri. And then last weekend I went to the Great Lakes Stitches Retreat, which I had to leave early because one of my very dearest friends turned 60 and her daughter was having a surprise birthday party for her Saturday night. So I had to leave the retreat like right after dinner on Saturday, which really bummed me out. Oh, but you know, I wasn't going to go to my friend's party just because I'm like, I'm at a retreat. But it's one of those things where what would you regret most? And this friend, we've been so close. Um, I just, I had to be there. So anyway, you have to make tough choices sometimes, right? You just have to make sure that you are making the right choice. And then I think that's it, like for personal, other than, you know, having the grandkids and having a total blast with them. They started back to school. He's in preschool. She's started kindergarten. It's all day kindergarten. So we don't get them now. We pick them up at two instead of picking them up, you know, at noon. So, um... I, I pretty much get almost a full day of work in before they, before we even leave to have to, you know, go get them. And then they don't take naps now when they get to our house. We just have nothing but fun and playtime. And it was amazing last week to see them. And, um, yeah, and then just they're getting so big, you guys. It's freaking me out. I mean, what, what the heck? <laughs> Um, and I do want to stop here and just thank you all for your amazing response to my new releases. I'm over the moon excited for what I released and I'm also over the moon excited for what I'm about to release. <laughs> I had mentioned a couple of videos ago that I will be doing more releases but smaller releases and so might as well jump into that right now. I will be posting a new release video probably not too long after this video posts and the the thing about this release is that once the video posts there's no pre-ordering it's like it's for sale I mean I, I'm ready to ship the books are on their way here they were supposed to be here Saturday then like when this company ships to me I get them two days later it's never failed well, they were supposed to be here Saturday. They didn't show up. Then I got a text saying they'd be here Monday. They didn't show up. Today is Tuesday, September 12th, and they say they're going to be here today. They haven't showed up yet. So I'm a little bit concerned as to what the heck's going on. But anyways, by the time the video posts, I will have everything in stock and ready to ship. So um, get a hold of your LNS when you do see that video and let them know if there's something there you want. And then I'm going to have another release in October. So here's the deal. I know a lot of you are waiting for me to release the Hello Autumn book. My goal was to have the Hello Autumn book release in September. It's not happening. I don't have the book all laid out yet. So by the time I get it finished and I get it ordered, it's going to be in a couple of weeks before I get it. And I really didn't want to have this new release right before Kevin and I go to the retreat and leave Kyle here alone to ship all these orders. So we're going to have, you know, a release in September, like I said, in the next few days. Then Kevin can help him get those orders out before Kevin and I go to the Primitive Gatherings retreat at the end of this month. Then when I get back from that, we should have the books for Hello Autumn and then uh, there will be another uh, release with that another design to go with that so um yeah so it's all coming the what i'm releasing i'm not even going to talk about that because you're going to see it soon enough okay moving on <laughs> i have a new needle minder you guys to go with the seaworthy sampler isn't she fabulous i love her she's pretty big it's like the biggest one i 
uh, have created so far, but she's super, super cute. And this will be, this is available in the Etsy shop now. Now, now, now. Let's see what else. Oh yes, I have a, I have a new release that is going to be just available as a PDF, PDF, a PDF, oh, Lord have mercy, a PDF in my Etsy shop. Lord, I hope I didn't break anything in here. Oh, this is what I put my Valdani in when I'm doing punch needle. Thank goodness that didn't break. It didn't even chip. And I have my light in here for cross-stitching at its retreats. Anyway, I have this new release um, that I gave, I gave this to everybody at the Great Lakes cross-stitching retreat. Uh, they all got this for free. But it's just a cute little thing that you might want to stitch up for the... the uh, fall here the stitch counts 141 by 66 i've had this sketched in my sketchbook for probably 10 years maybe not quite 10 maybe six or eight years but it's been a long time coming and uh it's i just think it's super cute so i designed that like the day before i left for the retreat um the morning that before the grandkids came over so that is that if you have been ordering recently from my Etsy shop, you hopefully, Kyle is remembering, <laughs> to put in the Jingle Ball postcard. Isn't it cool? So screenshot that. Make sure that you get your ticket to the Jingle Ball. I have been working feverishly on designing for the Jingle Ball. Oh, it's going to be epic. It's going to be so good. I can't wait. So I've been working on that behind the scenes as well. And then I have one more thing to show you, but I, I forgot to print it off. So give me one second. On September 1st, I uploaded the Patreon charts to Patreon. So I'm going to show those to you. The first one for tier 2, 3, and 4 is called One Acorn. It says the creation of a thousand forests is in One Acorn. And I love this. Love how that turned out. Of course, that's just a computer-generated image. Then we have this one that's kind of big. It's... Uh, called Velvet Cushion. I would rather sit on a pumpkin and have it all to myself than be crowded on a velvet cushion. Oh, the quote is by Henry David Thoreau. That's for tier three and four. And then tier four gets this little bonus and it's called Fall Feels. And someone has already stitched it. You will see it in a little bit. She sent it to me to show here on Fall Student. I love his little face. See, he's too cute to scare off the crows. That's why he's like, oh, he's kind of shot. Like, why are the crows landing? I'm supposed to scare them off. He's just too stinking cute. All right, I think that is it for news. I had some questions. Susan, she asked, what brown fabric did I use for the Give Thanks? I showed in my last floss tube video. I gifted that to Donna Fido, my friend, because she stitched it for me. And she does so, much, so many things for me. And so my friend, the Biscornu Queen, Donna, I gave that to her. Anyways, uh, I showed it. It was stitched on 30 count Chris's Bonbon by Weeks Dye Works. And then Miss Willett, she asks, where can I purchase your Create shirt? So she's talking about this shirt that I'm wearing now. This shirt is actually no longer available. I, this company was, it, it's printed by a third party. It's drop shipped. 
it's print on demand. Well, I have problems with that company, so I switched to a different company. Well, they don't show or don't offer this exact shirt, but I do have it now in white with black sleeves. I have it in gray with, I think, a dark gray sleeve. Then I have it with black here and then gray sleeves. I think. <laughs> I can't remember now. Anyways, so there's three different choices now. Also on the back, I don't know if you'll be able to see this. It's got my old logo on it and it says on YouTube underneath my logo. Well, I've changed that to my new logo and it's much bigger and it's kind of in the middle of the back. It says nothing about YouTube on it. It's just the big round logo on the back. So they are a little bit different, but they're still going to be great. Dorothy, she asked, how do I join Patreon and is there a certain time to join? There's not a certain time to join, but I do want to mention to you, I'm going to put the address up here. It's just www.patreon.com dot com slash Teresa Kogut. You don't even have to do the www anymore. Just patreon.com slash Teresa Kogut. And I want to talk a little bit about when you join. So if you join September 1st or you join September 30th or any time in between, you will have access to those Patreon PDFs that I just showed you. Okay. However, let's say you join on September 30th, you download those, you, oh, sorry, a blue heron just flew and landed right outside my studio. Uh, Teeny saw it too, she's watching it. She better not bark at it. Anyway, you will get charged again on October 1st. And the reason for that is because you have access to those PDFs from the first of the month until the last day of the month. So if you, let's say, let's say you don't care for the designs I just showed you, but you do want to join, well then wait and join on October 1st. That will give you, you know, the October images. Okay. But yeah, you will be billed on the first of the month unless you pay for a whole year. Now, when you join, you can save, I think it's 10% or 15% if you pay for the entire year up front. But uh, if you choose to join it monthly, then you will be billed on the first of the month of every month, no matter when you join. Okay. So you, like I said, you could join September 30th and you're, you're going to be, you're going to get billed that day. And then you're going to get billed the next day on October 1st, but you will have access to the September designs and then again the next day you'll have the october designs. so i just want to be clear about that because i think there's a little bit of confusion there sometimes barbara asked how do you continue to come up with such great ideas you know i think because i have been doing this next year will be 30 years that i will have been an entrepreneur running my own business that just makes me so happy <laughs> and it kind of blows me away because I don't feel like it's been 30 years but I think just because I have kind of trained my brain to always be creative and just looking for inspiration everywhere everywhere and you know because I do like folk art you folk art gives you a little more creative freedom I think than if you're trying to be a realistic designer because I mean maybe not but be, I don't have to like I'm not trying to say if you're a realistic artist you have to see what you're painting right where I can just conjure things up in my head uh, also sketching every day helps me to constantly hone that skill and, you know, I don't sketch every day all the time, but I am doing the Whimsy 365 again this year. I did it in 2016 where I sketch something every single day for an entire year. So all of 2016, I believe, and I don't think I started on January 1st, 2016. I think it went like through 2016 through 2017, you know, like 
part of each year. Anyways, this year I started on January 1st, 2023, and I have sketched something every single day. Even though some of those sketches I'm like, I don't know really, like sometimes I am uninspired, but I have to have a sketch. So I'll just kind of do something and I'm not, it's, it's not something I'm going to go forward with as far as painting it or, or designing cross stitch or punch needle with it. But at least it's a sketch. And, and you never know, I might look back at that someday and go, oh, I really like that. You know, so I keep all of my sketchbooks. I date all of my sketchbooks and I can, I have sketchbooks in my cupboard for the past, I don't even know when I started keeping like sketchbooks where I sketched constantly in them. Um, but anyways, I, I have not even developed everything that's in those sketchbooks. So that's the beauty of sketching every day, every other day, a few times a week, whatever, and just keep those sketchbooks because you have, you know, a plethora of things to go back to if you want someday like if you get stuck or uninspired anyways so yeah that's i and it's a i always attribute it to the good lord uh he gave me this talent and uh, i'm thankful i thank him every time i pray that is the last thing i thank him for is for making me an entrepreneur a creative person because i love my life so much and i am so blessed to be able to do this for a living and the connections and the friends I have made it's just it's kind of unbelievable to be honest so yeah thank you Jesus <laughs> but another Barbara a different Barbara she asked nor'easter that's the fabric that was used for the seaworthy booklet um she asked what company that was because I was saying LFA linens and she thought I was saying Ella you know something she couldn't understand because she was new to that company so it's I'm going to put it up here on the screen it's LFA linens which means legacy fiber arts which is Sue uh, of floss toss here on YouTube so floss toss is Sue and Rachel and Sue is in Connecticut she is now moving to Vermont and then Rachel is here in Michigan like only a couple hours from me but they are a team in this linen business so Sue does all of the dyeing because Sue has been a yarn dyer for several years i don't know how many years but for a very long time and very successful business with that well now she's dyeing linen for cross stitch so she dyes it she sends it to uh rachel rachel you know cuts it and packages it and lists it in her website now the website that you want to order from is called treehousefiberarts.com I'm going to put that up here. Also, I'll have the link in the description box below. But to get Nor'easter for the Seaworthy Sampler booklet, it's, again, treehousefiberarts.com. All right, that's it for questions. All right, let's get into whips. I don't know if I should show this. I'm going to do super, super quick. I'm not going to tell you what this is for, but it's, it's so stinking cute. <laughs> I want to, I want to be able to share what I'm working on. So I'm just going to show it real quick. Boop! Punch needle. Isn't it cute? I love it so much. I love it so much. So yes, that is one of my whips. Here's a little guy that I wanted to finish him up and put him in the Hello Autumn book. So you may see him in there. I don't know. I don't know. I love him so much. He's a little, I call him blue jean scarecrow. Look at his sweet little face. The bird is not done yet. Um, but hey, Pete, he is a flying bird. And then there's these little like kind of quilt blocks. That one's not done. There's another one over here. And then his feet. It's just some fill in there on his overalls. But um, I think he's so cute. So if I get him done in time, which I probably won't be. <laughs> and the reason I'm saying that is because I, I need to get that book done. I'm planning on working on it today and getting it finished up. Hopefully by tomorrow and getting it ordered. So that if that is not, then I don't know. I might give it as a freebie. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, to be honest. Then I'm also working on this. This I have not worked on since 
last year uh i worked on it at the farm girl gatherings god it might even been two years ago no i think it was last year i was working on that because i wanted to stitch this little guy i love it so last night i did this pumpkin and i'm working on the black pumpkin and there's a lumina white pumpkin on up here there's a little wagon with a stack of pumpkins there's a cute moon some stars oh and then there's this little um cartouche here that has the date in it so um god that's showing brown this is not brown fabric let me just tell you it is like an rusty orange it's showing a little bit better back here but yeah i move it forward and it looks brown anyways i love it this is you know what and i didn't write down what the fabric is that's right i looked and looked and looked and i don't have it written down so my apologies and then the end all be all that i've been working on are you kidding me i didn't bring it down here no way oh my goodness gracious i just saw it laying over here i had to look up a floss color for somebody so give me one second while i grab it someone on patreon was asking about a floss color so i had to grab that okay yeah so the mystery sale in tier four for in patreon is done it's all done and a lot of people already have theirs completely stitched i don't even have a picture of the fully of the full design oh well but look how far i have gotten i'm so excited about it You will not believe, you will not believe how much I got done at the Great Lakes Stitching Retreat. I stitched one, two, three, four. I stitched all four of those. I stitched the squirrel. I stitched the little crane. I didn't do these. I did the frog. I stitched the bee scap. And I started on this guy, this deer. Yeah, so I got quite a bit done for being at a retreat. And then uh, when I got home Sunday, I stitched these fish. I started on the bottom border. I stitched a lot of this. I think there's supposed to be another fish in here. But I'm not unpicking that. <laughs> I'll just leave that fish out. I think there's supposed to be a fish there. Anyway, um, I love these mallards and then this wood duck. I love, I just love all the creatures in here. This has been fun. So what I have to do, and my goal is to have it done by the end of the week, is I've got to do the centers of these little quilt blocks. And then I have to do this bottom border, which is all like these kind of back and forth, back and forth. I have to fill in the water, which I dang near have half of it done. And then in between the fence, I have all the, the brown light that connects the fence, connects the fence. So I'm very close to being done with this and I can't wait. So when I get this finished, I am going to get it framed and then release it to the public. So this will probably be released in October along with the Hello Autumn book. But yay, I'm so happy. Oh, and this is kind of funny too. So, <laughs> oh Lord, I did not have my color key, my symbol key with me when I was at the retreat. So I was guessing at what these colors were supposed to be. So when you get yours, if you happen to order this, mine might be different than what it's telling you in the chart. And then I will uh, put a little disclaimer saying, you know, these are the colors I used you know, for let's say, for instance, for the deer, in case I pick the wrong color, I'll say, well, I use this for the deer. That way you have options. The other thing is this blue for that bird is not on the pattern. And I was testing out different blues for the water because I wasn't sure I was going to like dove for the water. It's kind of a gray blue. But then the brighter blue just it's okay like in little spots like on that bird and then I used it on the belly of um, these two bluebirds 
it's fine like that, but that whole strip of water going across the bottom with that brighter blue, it just didn't work with the rest of the design, I didn't think, because all the other colors are so, you know, muted and in, in, um, light and not bright whatsoever. So I didn't think that looked good, but just a little spot here and there, I think it looks fine. So that's what I have been stitching and punching lately. Something I forgot to mention earlier, if you are a, one of my teddy bear calendar collectors, I do have these on order. I thought I had ordered them the first of the year and I didn't. So I only ordered 50. You know, I sell out of them every year and then I get people saying, I didn't get one, you know, and then I try to get more and, and they're sold out and I can't and blah, blah, blah. So last year I ordered like a ton more than I normally do. And then I was stuck with a bunch of them. And I'm like, that is not happening again. So I only ordered 50. So if you are one that gets this calendar every year, please keep checking my Etsy shop because they should be here any day. And when they arrive, I will list them. And it will be two weeks before I do another floss tube. So if they come in in between there, you know, and I, I won't, I'll announce it in my Instagram, I suppose I could do that. But anyway, just keep checking back if you really want a calendar because 50 of them will sell out quickly because I normally sell, I think like a hundred. And last year I ordered 150, but I was left with like probably 20 or 25 of them. And it's just wasteful. But that there shows you every image for the year. Super cute. Okay, now I don't have any fully finishes that I can show you. I mean, I do have some, but they are for the Primitive Gatherings Retreat, so I can't show those. So I want to share with you some lovely ladies sent in their things for me to show here on on my floss tube. So I'm so grateful that you all do that. I just love sharing that. Okay, this first one is, well, Jerry Inglis, she's one of my model stitchers and she belongs to a stitching group. And she said, one of my Monday morning stitching friends, Judy Robinson, beautifully stitched, come to the garden. The framing is also gorgeous. It was hard to get a photo of it without glare from the glass, but this was my best shot. She stitched it with the called four colors on 40 count linen, one over two. She would love for you to feature it on your floss tube episode. Thank you so much, Jerry, for sending in Judy's uh, finished piece. I did ask if she knows what that fabric is because it looks so fabulous, but she doesn't remember what the fabric was. So um, anyways, thank you ladies for sending that in. I so appreciate it. It's beautiful. Next we have Kimberly. And Kimberly said, I just finished my first sampler and couldn't wait to share it with you. Land that I love on 32 count stone washed Jobelin, two over two. I love it and can't wait to get it fully finished. Thank you for your amazing work. I can't wait to start in his image. Thank you, Kimberly. It's so pretty. That is still one of my favorites. Okay, next we have Johnny Miller. She said, Hey, Teresa. Hope this day finds you well. I would like to share a piece that I stitched on 30 count old stationery by Seraphim using the called for from your Hello Halloween book. I found the frame at Home Goods and thought it was perfect. I love stitching your patterns. You have brought so much enjoyment to the stitching community. Thanks again and be well. Oh, she tells me how to pronounce her name and it's Shawnee. Shawnee Miller. And that is so stinking cute. She took just a little section of one of the designs in the Hello Halloween book. Just one that little pumpkin-headed character, and oh, it's so cute in that. Thank you so much, Shawnee. Next, we have Laura, and she sent in, oh, 
Well, there's really no text with it. She just sent in a picture of Stitchy Bird. That's the first in a series of my Stitchy Bird. And she said, I love how this turned out. See you in a manna. Laura Schrott, a true blue whimsy. I love that. So in my Patreon, we have diff there's different tiers. So tier one is uh, you become a whimsy. Tier two, you are a loyal whimsy. Tier three, you're a devoted whimsy. And tier four, you are a true blue whimsy. So that's why she said that. Isn't that cute? That frame is just so cute for that. I love it. Thank you for sending that in, Laura. All right, next we have Sandy Thomas, and she stitched this little scarecrow. This is in my cross stitch book, Celebrate. She said, hi, Teresa, being in the mood for stitching scarecrows, I went through my patterns and found your Harvest Scarecrow in the Celebrations book. He stitched on 36 count agave with a few called for flosses and some from my own collection. He's so cute. I seem to be on a scarecrow kick lately and was so excited to see your soon to be released autumn patterns. There are so many possibilities for smalls with your new releases. Thank you for sharing so much of your talent with us. May God's blessings be upon you and Kevin. Thank you, Sandy Thomas. That's so sweet and I love him. Who doesn't love a scarecrow, right? Next we have Barb Palazzos. Sorry, I'm sure I butchered your name. Okay, so she sent in this picture last, my last floss tube, I showed her quilt. Well, now she has it all, um, she, it was just the quilt top last time, but now she has it all quilted and she has the binding on. Oh my gosh, it's so stinking cute. Thank you for sharing that fully finished quilt with us. Love it. Next we have Heather. She stitched Wilbur. Hi, Teresa. I thought you would like to see one of your creations come to life. This is going to my friend, Charlotte, who loves Wilbur in Charlotte's Web. How cute. I love it. I love that pink matting on there. It just makes it pop. So thank you, Heather, for sharing that with us. And your friend is very lucky. Next, we have Beth Honeycutt. She stitched... Oh gosh, this is um, Dear Santa. Oh, oh, this was July. <laughs> this was a July Patreon because I did Christmas in July. She said, thank you so much, Teresa, not only for the wonderful chart, but for wanting to share my finish. Much blessings to you. I am thankful for you and your content and talent you provide to our community. I love you, sweet friend, even though we have never met. We are Stitchy Sisters as well as Sisters in Christ. Love much, Beth Honeycutt, Red Cross Stitcher. Ah, I love it. Thank you so much. All right, next we have Laura. Wait, didn't I already do this one? Oh, no, this, but, okay, so Laura Schroet, she uh, also did a punch needle and sent it in. He's so cute. Trying to think of his name. I don't know his name. Shoot. Anyways, she's going to be in, in a mana, so I'm excited to meet Laura. That'll be awesome. I have mine sitting right over here. I'm going to go grab it. I love that she finished it on the same kind of paddle, but I really love that she put a mini pom-pom around it. It just frames it so nicely. So here's mine. And then you can see hers next to it. Super cute, super cute. Thank you, Laura, for sending that in. Next we have Darlene. Darlene stitched Let Love Rain. So this is fabulous. Let me read what she wrote. Hello, Teresa. Please allow me to share my partial finish of Let Love Rain. I wasn't patient enough to finish the entire design because I wanted it on my wall as soon as possible, so I just chose to complete the floral motif. I had to bring down the re and rework the top border, which was a bit challenging, but I'm happy with how it turned out. This was stitched on 36 count affogato by fiber on a whim using the beautiful floss colors you suggested and framed by myself using a vintage estate 
sale frame purchased for three dollars nice she said my husband helped me cut it down to fit i hope to use some of the smaller sampler motifs to make some smalls thank you for sharing your amazing designs and beautiful spirit with the stitching community forever grateful darlene burden darlene i love this so much that frame is perfect for it that silver on that frame makes it look kind of blue and maybe it is blue but i don't know maybe it's silver anyways perfect frame and you did a great job reconfiguring that border because it looks like it was it really looks like that was just the whole piece oh my gosh it's so pretty thank you for sharing that i love it i love to share those kind of things because i want you all to see that even though i create these giant <laughs> some of them are really giant uh samplers you can pull things out and make smaller pieces out of them so i want you to always keep that in mind all right next we have amy fitzpatrick okay so she is the one that stitched fall feels like she did this so fast because it's only october or it's not, september what 12th and this came out on september 1st she sent it to me last friday so i mean she got it done like in a week and a half as soon as I saw fall feels, I had to stitch it. It was so fun. I stitched it on 36 count from my stash and switched the orange for a B Stitch Me Silk Mild Sauce and the Scarecrow's Pants to Classic Colorworks Old Blue Jeans. Thank you for this cute pattern from Amy. Thank you so much, Amy, for sharing that. And wow, I wish I could stitch as fast as you. <laughs> so thank you, ladies, for sending in your finished pieces any of you that are stitching my things when you are finished if you would like me to share them here on floss tube you can email them to me at teresacoget3 at gmail.com it's up here on the screen it's also in the description box below i really love sharing to see how you know people do different colors and they you know they, i just love to see the changes that people make okay what is next i think that's i think we're on to haul after a haul, we're going to talk about the um, the retreat that I just went to. And then at the very end of this video is going to be video and photos from Sauter Village. Okay, if That way, if you're not interested in seeing the most beautiful rug hook d designs and hookers <laughs> like on the planet... If you don't want to see beautiful rugs, then you can bow out. But I'm telling you, it is eye candy for days. So stick around if you can. So haul. Let's move on to haul. I, I love my Americana fabric so stinking much. And I have a lot of bags made out of the fabric. I love how each, each bag project bag maker they combine different you know different fabrics from the line I mean it's just amazing to me to see how different each bag can be this is from the quilted crow her name is peg and when I saw that she actually did a quilted star I was like oh I am all the way in on that isn't it adorable Oh my gosh, I just love this red, burgundy red going through it. I love that the charm on it is a star. It says 2023. It's fabulous. And then the back and the inside is, I think that's, it's not mine, but I think that is uh, Lisa Von Jean. It looks like hers anyways. But it, everything on the outside is mine. And then Quilted Crow. Quilted Crow Handmade. I love that that's on there. I'm going to show you her, um, well, this is her business card. And then he, she hand wrote, like, you go to Etsy and put in Quilted Crow, Instagram, and Facebook. God, I'm trying to hold that steady, but I was obviously not doing a good job. I will have her information listed below. 
Okay. <laughs> Who blew up? Who blew up Flower Threads website? Brenda. Brenda and Laura of uh, Brenda and the Serial Starter. Brenda mentioned Flower Threads, and when I saw how cool they were, I tried to order the whole set, and you couldn't. So I just placed an order for a bunch of the colors that would work for me because, you know, sometimes the full set is wasteful because there's colors I wouldn't use. Um, anyway, it took a while to get it because they are just so far behind and I ordered dang near the whole set. Anyways, so I finally got these and, and I say finally, not, not being, trying to be like, oh my gosh, I finally got them. I don't mean it like that at all, at all. I was not in a big hurry for them. And I knew how overwhelmed they were because once Brenda mentioned that, they've just been been inundated with orders. I am excited to use these on one of the antique samplers that I have that um, Jeffrey Glass gave me. It's Jeffrey Glass's Ants original sampler. And I want that it's it's stitched with the um gosh i'm so bad with all this stitched with wool i believe it's very thick and anyways this will look more like the original so i'm really excited about that and um anyways 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 <laughs> moving along excited to have that in now i got a great shipment in from yarn tree of uh, all kinds of Lady Dot Creates trims. Look at all that beautiful trim. I'm so excited about that. And then I got some DMC uh, from them as well. What else? What else? What else? What else? So I think that's it as far as haul. I know there was more haul, no patterns or anything, but just like flosses and uh, different things like that but I want to show you I'm gonna pause right here my battery is about to die anyways and show you the most fabulous haul that I got that is absolutely unbelievable so hold please you guys look Athena! Oh, she's such a joke sometimes. So there are geese. There are those cranes. What are they called? Oh, I forget what they're called. Can you hear that? I'm glad that blue heron had already taken off. I did not mean to let my dog out. She would have scared it off. When I was at the Great Lakes Stitches Retreat, uh, Chrissy and her friend Jen, Sweet Chaos Stitcher on Instagram, they were talking about an antique store that was down the road. And so Sunday, no, I wasn't there Sunday. <laughs> Saturday after lunch, I went shopping and I found this Corticelli, I'm not sure how to say it, cabinet. This is all glass fronts. This held spools of silk. This thing is fabulous. And I cannot believe, look at Teeny. What's wrong, boo? You think you're in trouble? You were in trouble because she wouldn't come. Anyways, I got this for a steal of a deal. Like I have seen the JP coats and stuff like that. I've always wanted one of these. And normally the ones I see are tabletop. This is... I don't know, three foot tall maybe? 
it's absolutely stunning you guys it's so beautiful and i cannot wait to put things in it i gotta clean it all out first but the lady said that she got it from a gentleman that used to be an antique dealer and he is you know retired and he's older but he has like this barn full of antiques and she found this in the upstairs of this barn this has been sitting there for 45 years so she took it she cleaned it up and she sold it to me it had a price on it and it's so funny that i saw the price and i was like "Ooh!" i thought that's still a really good deal but gosh you know i had a price in my head that i was like really hoping she'd go for but I didn't even know if it was hers because you know in an antique place they have different dealers and stuff so I just went up to her and I I said do you know whose that is or I didn't say that what did I say I just went up to her and said can you contact the seller and see if they will give me a better deal on this the silk cabinet and she said, oh, well, that's mine. And that's when she proceeded to tell me, you know, where she got it from. And she said, um, you know, I'll go this price. She took $175 off it, and it was already a really good deal. But I am so stinking happy to have this. It's going to go right here. This wall right here is like the perfect width. It will sit right here. And all those quilts, I think I'm going to house on top of this. And then all of these goodies that are over here, I don't know what I'm going to do <laughs> with all of this stuff. There's some really cool things in here. And I just don't know. There's a little punch needle of mine. Um, I like collecting these, but I don't like them rounded. I like them flat. So if they're rounded, they're just for display only. But if they're flat, you can turn them this way. And then you can put put um, something on top, like a clay piece or a finished punch deal or something. But anyway, um, those are rounded, so those are just display. A Debbie Tabeau, that's that awesome thing that I that little pin cushion I got antiquing last year. Um, a bunch of needle minders that I have collected, and some of mine that are on there. Just these, both of these were made for me from Kathy Lounsbury my collection of that I mean just all I got this oh that's right I got this when I was at that not that same antique place but there was another antique place down the road and I got this little child's iron oh, just fun stuff these are all the beeswax thingies and some of Stacy Nash's daughter's things are in here more buttons, just fun stuff. Another punch needle and a star because, you know, you can't have too many stars. Anyways, all that stuff, I don't know where I'm going to put it. But I think this would look so cool with quilts stored on top of it. If not the quilts, then I might take the quilts to the house and display them up there. And then put all of that stuff that's on that table on here. Either one. But then I'm going to fill it with amazing threads so so happy when i was at that antique store uh, the lady that i purchased that from she recently had a stroke so you know she was you know not into like lifting things and she was kind of taking it easy and at the time we were getting ready to load it there was no one else in the store to help us. So we took all the drawers out. We got it on the little rolly cart. We took it out. I backed my truck up to this big garage door that they had open because the weather was spectacular. It was like in the mid 60s and perfect. So I backed up and I get all the drawers put in and we get the piece. We're, we're getting ready to put it in the truck and guess who pulls up to the rescue? Because I told the lady, I said, listen, I said, I am at a retreat just down the road i have lots of friends there that would come and help me so i don't want you to have to help me lift this i was going to try to do it on my own well then 
all of a sudden someone pulls up and I'm not even paying attention and I hear Teresa what did you get and it was Chrissy finally a farm girl and Jen sweet chaos stitcher we're pulling in to do their shopping and I'm like oh my gosh you guys aren't gonna believe this is so beautiful oh my gosh and they were like yeah it's so cool so they helped me load it in my truck I'm like what are friends for I mean great timing on their part um so anyway I just wanted to share that because I thought that was really cool Thank you, Chrissy and Jen. Couldn't have done it without you. Now let's talk about the Great Lakes Stitchers Retreat that was in, it wasn't actually Port Huron, but it was just north of Port Huron. I can't think of the name of the town. If I think of it, I'll put it up here. Anyways, it was at this retreat center that was absolutely fabulous right on Lake Huron, like right on the lake. Pretty much everywhere you went on the property, you could see the lake. They had Anirondack chairs all along the beach. They had a huge fire pit that you could, you know, hang out. We were going to have a fire, but the weather just did not cooperate. It was misty and rainy, kind of like it is today. We've had on and off rain all day today. But um, just a beautiful facility, a very clean facility. So they had one uh, room which is where the retreat was this large room and then you walk over to like the main lodge and that's where a lot of us stayed across the parking lot there were a this huge row of more lodging I think some people did stay over there and then next to the main lodge was the uh, the I don't know, diner what did they call it I forget the name of it. I have a little video, I think, that I will insert at the end. But it's like the dining hall or whatever. And they had, you know, all these tables. They cook all the meals there. Delicious food. I mean, this place was just fabulous. So kudos to you, Barbara Johns, for finding this amazing place to house a retreat. I mean, she she wanted to book it for 2024 but it's already solidly booked and I can see why. So she's booking it for 2025 in the spring of 2025, but um, awesome. So when I got there on Friday, I could have went Thursday. I could have went like Thursday late afternoon, but I didn't because we had the grandkids and we didn't see the grandkids the week before that because we were in Missouri. So I didn't want to miss out on seeing them. So I didn't go until Friday. I got there maybe a half an hour after registration started, but a half an hour early before the room opened. So I was perfect timing. And I was greeted with, with, uh, by Barbara and, um, uh, such amazing things. So I'm trying to remember in the order that we got things, which I'm probably going to mess that all up, but I will do my best. And, you know, I, as you know, as if you're a retreat goer, you get things laid on your spot when you're not there. It might not have a name on it. You know, it's just, and then if it's candy, I, I usually eat it. So, I like, so if you gave me something and I don't mention it, please just know that I am very grateful. Um, so when we got there, we got this awesome clear bag that says Great Lakes Stitchers gathering i love it so so much it is awesome and i don't have a clear bag and what's nice about these is if like you go to a concert or something you if you don't have a clear bag you can't bring your stuff in but if you have a clear bag and they can see everything that's in it you can take these into concerts so i'm, I'm really grateful to have a clear bag now oh i have my church bulletin in there <laughs> so let's go through the goodies so she gave us this uh, folder and it just, it was nice because it had, it was very clever. She had our name tags in this little thing that's for business cards. She had your name tag in there and uh, just the schedule and a little welcome, uh, welcome letter and, oh, I didn't even see that. There was a chart in there. From the proper stitcher. Oh, that's so cute. That's so nice. So thank you. I didn't even see that. To be honest, I had already printed the schedule off. So I didn't even read this. I basically took my name tag out and didn't even read this because I had the schedule like already printed. Anyways, so inside was 
some goodies that people were sweet enough to give to Barbara to put in the, the bag. And this is Teresa Vanette's, what's it called? Two by Julia. And I don't have this one. So I was thrilled to have something from her that I didn't actually own. Yee! Oh, and Teresa's booklets are just fabulous. Love it. So I can't wait to peruse that. No, nope, that was not, that was something I won. That's right. Gal, she had giveaway galore. Oh, Scarecrow Mini Jack. You know what? I didn't know this was in there either. I obviously, you know how it is at retreats? You're just like constantly busy and doing stuff and stitching and talking and all this stuff. So I really didn't go through my bag until right now. I am so happy to have this because I remember when Chrissy came out with that and I just thought it was so stinking cute. He is adorable. And scarecrows, you know, they're all the rage now. We also got a cross stitch, just cross stitch magazine, which is super cool. And uh, Barbara was telling us, I'm pretty sure it was Barbara, was telling us that, yeah, it was her, that Just Cross Stitch Magazine was at um, StitchCon both weekends. And I don't know if they did a talk or they had a survey. I don't know how they did it, but they were looking for, you know, asking the people and all the stitchers, what are you looking for? What would you like to see in this magazine? And I thought, how smart is that to go to 600 avid stitchers and say, what are you looking for in a magazine? So, so smart. Then we also got, oh, I love these stickers. Stickers that say Great Lake Stitcher Gathering, die cut stickers, who doesn't love that? We got beeswax. We got a pen that says Great Lakes Stitcher Gathering. Who doesn't always need a pen? I buy pens all the time too. <laughs> then we got um, Stitching with Grammy, Stitching and Designs, uh, Floss Drops. So we just have to put the holes in them. And we could have done that while we were there, but I didn't. Because I don't use floss drops, but I... I do love them and I like collecting them and maybe someday I will use them. And when that happens, I have a ton of them. But um, this is pretty cool. Great Lake Stitcher Gathering. It says scan me. How smart is that? So I'm going to hold that up there. And you could, you could take your phone right now and scan that and it will take you to her website. Isn't that sweet? Barbara, you are so smart. That is a very smart thing to do. Okay. Then I won a giveaway and it like shocked me <laughs> because you know, I'm like everyone else. I never win anything, <laughs> but it's very cool. It's, um, 2024 monthly planner, 17 months from August, 2023 to December, 2024. And, um, I'm going to keep this with my in my stitchy bag and hopefully use it. I have the book of days that I bought for 2023. Oh, I think I might have used it and wrote in it like twice. And I really would like to have more accountability, not really accountability, but just a better record of what I'm stitching, what am I stitching it on, you know, maybe in the back put um, photos. Yeah, because there's notes and to-do lists. I could put photos in the back of things that I finish. You know, I just, I, I would like to have a little bit more organization. Something else I thought of too, not too long ago, as a designer, you know, when I pass away, my family isn't going to know what I stitched and what did model stitcher stitch. So I need to go through all of my samples and put stickers on the back and just say who it was stitched by. Um, you know, that way, if it's something I stitched, it would definitely be something they would want to hang on to more than if someone else stitched it. Anyways, even though the ones that other people stitched are prettier than mine, like, cause I give them the big samplers and stuff and I don't know, I don't really want to think about that. That's too sad uh, to think about what are they going to do with all my stuff? Uh, so <laughs> then, um, that first night, uh, that was Friday night. 
we ha when we got there, we had this bag sitting in front of our little spot. And uh, Chrissy got up, and I'm so, let me just back up. Chrissy and her friend Jen, sweet chaos stitcher, they both came in and our table wasn't full and she said can we sit here and i was like absolutely i was so excited because i got to sit next to chrissy now we have not really had a chance to get to know each other but we definitely did over this weekend and her ties to michigan and all the things she talked about about michigan i was just like I almost got up there on the microphone and said, I think Chrissy needs to move back to Michigan because <laughs> she lives in Florida, which is, seems like a thousand miles away. It probably is a thousand miles away. It's 600 miles to Missouri. So, okay, it seems like a hundred thousand miles away. It's just two day drive. Too far away, Chrissy. I think you, I think you need to move back to Michigan. Anyways, this cute little bag was sitting there with this beautiful bow and little Matilda on it and so this this was Friday night's gift to us from Chrissy and let me show you what we have so this is called Matilda goes to Michigan it's so cute and it says pure Michigan great late stitchers great lake stitchers I don't enunciate my stuff very well and then it says uh, great lakes stitchers gathering 2023 she's got little matilda mouse sitting on a spool and a little sewing tomato and two little mice stitching i'm gonna try to get this as close as i can and i'm such a goof i didn't take a picture of the model i did of the bigger piece but i forgot of this one so she's got you know the michigan state there you can see she has her initials in there, which of course I would change to mine. But look at the two little mice sitting at the table stitching. How adorable is that? But yeah, so cute. And she finished it on a box. Oh, this was really cool too. So she finished it on this box and she put the piece on the lid of the box. Inside the box, she used my Americana, uh, what's it called? Bright Stars fabric for the bottom of the box. And then on the back of the lid she used it as well so this was her michigan treasure box and what was so cool is that she wanted a box and it's a pretty large box she wanted a box that she could put all of her michigan treasures in so she had like her um, newspaper clippings from like when her is it her mom and her grandma and her great grandma uh, opened that store down in clarkston area and just like all her mementos and things that have to do with Michigan, she's keeping in there. And I thought, that's really, really cool. Very smart, very clever. And then here's all the floss. I love this. Here's all the floss on there. Very cool. So that was Friday night. Then Saturday, I think it was after lunch. We came back after lunch. And we had more treasures sitting in our spot from Barbara. And uh, this is one of the things that she gave us. This is made by Under the Woolen Willow. I will link her in the description box below, but I'm sure you've heard of her. She makes a lot of things. I mean, a lot of floss tubers shop at her Etsy shop and share her things on their floss tube. So, uh, super cool that she did this Michigan uh, silhouette here and then look how cute this is and it says great lake stitcher gathering with the little 2023 charm and it's it's held on there with this cute button and then you open it up and there's scissors in, inside there super cool I love it oh my gosh it's just really cute isn't it so thank you Barbara and then some gift things that came around. Um, oh, I forgot one of the best things. When we walked in, not only did we have this adorable bag from Chrissy sitting in front of us, this was sitting in our place. I can't believe I didn't show this. <laughs> Barbara Johns, as you know, Stitching with Grammy, she makes incredible, incredible project bags. Look at this fabulous bag. So she used my Stitchy Bird fabric for the top. 
and then she used this Lori Holt fabric that matches it so beautifully. Oh my gosh, look at her new, I think that's a different tag than she used to have. Barbara Johns Creations. Look at this amazing zipper pull she made us. It's got, oh my gosh, her signature angel that you can see there. Also a Michigan charm. And then this amazing like rickrack and ribbon pull. It's just fabulous. And then inside is also fabric by Lori Holt that matches the Stitchy Bird fabric so well. Super cute. Thank you so much, Barbara. We were so spoiled. <laughs> so spoiled. Love it. Okay, some of the little goodies that we got that are just so fun. This is from Anne Masu. I'm so sorry. She is from Sterling Heights, Michigan. She gave us a pen, a couple clips. She gave us a some sticky notes and some, some tags that you can um, put on your project bags or whatever you want to use it for. And a little bag of floss and some chocolate. There was more chocolate in there, but I did eat some. I don't know who that's from though. Sorry. And then I have to tell you, well, wait, 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 back up. I got this adorable pouch from Christina. Isn't this sweet? Look at those girls laying on the beach. Super cute. Thank you. I forgot to tell this too. So one, like there were giveaways galore. Like we had in our uh, welcome bag that uh, Barbara gave us, there were raffle tickets in there. I don't know. There were like 10 or 12 raffle tickets in there. And so she was constantly doing giveaways. And I did not win. I, I won that planner, but I did not win this. So who won this? Well, Jen from Sweetwater, or I, would, I keep wanting to say Sweetwater, Sweet Chaos Stitcher. She won this, but she said she already has one, so she gifted it to me. Is that not adorable and sweet? Because it's so funny, before the this giveaway, a couple, like three or four people, at our, there were six people at a table. I think four of them had something to put their pattern on. And I was like, wow, that would be handy to have. And then I got this from Jen. She's so, so sweet. I had a great time meeting my table mates. Well, okay, so I knew two of my table mates pretty well. Uh, Donna Fidoa, my Biscor Noon Queen, <laughs> and my model stitcher. She was there. She, and then next to her was Darcy. So I had met Darcy at Donna's place because Donna hosts stitching gatherings at her house. So I had met Donna before. Not Donna. Say Donna. Darcy. Anyway, Darcy was there. Darcy's a hoot. So Donna, Darcy, and I, we shared a room together. There were three separate beds. Very comfortable. It was awesome. And then on the other side of me was Chrissy and then Jen and then Amanda. So I will talk about Amanda in a little bit because I bought something from her. And so we'll get to that. But thank you so much, Jen. This came in handy that weekend. Someone else that was at this, this retreat that I have just recently met even though we have been at market together forever. She is Diane Randall, the amazing talent behind Silver Creek Samplers. Oh my gosh. So I really just met her last year and it was fleeting. It was like she, I was in Annie B's folk arts room and she popped in and said like four words and popped out. Like it, like it's so busy at market. It's just really hard to, to, you know, meet with people and talk. So anyway, I knew she was going to be there with her husband, Clinton, and I was stoked about it because I'm like, I am going to get to know her because she just looks like so much fun and I love her designs. She's so, so extremely talented. Well, anyway, we talked quite a bit. We are really kindred spirits. We, like I would say something, she's like, same. She would say something, I was like, same. I mean, we <laughs> have a lot in common and 
just getting to know her and her husband better was just icing on the cake to this amazing retreat. So she gifted me some floss drops and she explained her logo to me, which I did not know. Her house was on Silver Creek Road and she had it designed and she thought, geez, you know, I need something a little more, a little more oomph to my logo. So she added um, the little boy because her son used to come home from school and he would get his fishing pole and go down the street and he would go fishing. So that is her son in her logo. I just think that's super cool. But yeah, it was interesting. I love to know how designers get started. And so she shared all of that with me. And um, we also talked about that at the table over lunch um, with Donna and Darcy and Amanda there. It was just so good. She also was a vendor there, which I'll get to all that later. But awesome. There was something else I was going to say and I lost it. Ah, it's gone. Anyways, so always great to make new friends. Okay, let's move on to, I'll save the best for last. So I'm going to move on to the vendors. One of the vendors that was there was Farmhouse Flosses. Aren't these fabulous? Look how pretty the variegation are on these flosses. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I wanted to, to show you these, not only as part of my haul, but to give her some attention for her beautiful floss colors. They're so, so pretty. So I will have her linked below. I would assume she has a website. Farmhouse Flosses and such at gmail.com. Find us on Facebook. So I will have a link to her so that you can check out. I'm sorry, I was looking up at a fly. Um, so you can check out her flosses. They're so, so pretty. So Amanda that was sitting at our table, her business name is Soulful Creations and I will have her linked below. But I love this fabric. I have seen this fabric on like project bags and different things. She had several different things there, but when I saw this, I had to have this fabric. So dang cute. I can't remember who the designer is, but look how cute this is. It has a pocket here, a pocket there, a vinyl front zipper pocket here, a zipper pocket vinyl front here, another pocket here, and then would I own a pocket here? <laughs> And then what I like is that this is a thread bed so that your threads can be, you know, coiled up and wound up and put on there so you're not always, you know, putting them away every single time. So, man, her attention to detail is beautiful. Here is her Soulful Creations logo. Love this. So, Amanda, it was so great to get to know you. We had a fabulous time. I got a pattern from Silver Creek Samplers. I, like I said, I have loved her things for the longest time, but just never had time to, <laughs> to go in and shop and see her at market. But I will definitely do that this year or next year, uh, 2024 market. But look at that spectacular bird. I love this. So awesome. Her lettering is, you know, she has her own style and it's very, um, what do you call that, recognizable. Like it's her own font that she has created. And uh, yeah, fabulous, fabulous stuff. The Vintage Stitcher was there. And it was a, such a pleasure to meet her. Hold on, let me get my act together. It might be a while. <laughs> kidding one second one second i gotta find all my stuff okay i thought i i thought i bought four of them maybe i just bought the three all right i guess that's it okay anyways um Artie, the vintage stitcher she has a floss tube which i did not realize and she's also on instagram i will 
put her links below but she does finishing pieces so these are already made like this is already made into like an ornament so if you have a piece that will fit this you just have to you know glue it hot glue or Aileen's you know tacky glue or fabric glue whatever you use uh, you can put it on there so I got of course stars of course and then another ornament one that has um, really great like vintage looking fabric on it love that as well and then a flat fold let me figure it out here there you go isn't it nice so it's got this ribbon on the bottom that keeps it from opening too wide and it creates that so you just this is so genius so genius um i'm sure these will come in handy so thank you Artie, for that oh my goodness and then we have hometown needleworks so she had gorgeous fabric there now she does not wholesale to shops um, which is very limiting for me as a designer but i can use these for my own um, pieces that i want to stitch of other people's things or if i just like if i'm doing a pdf that's only going to be available in my etsy shop i could stitch on this or something like that so this one is called natural and this one is called wheat and they oh the color is coming out perfectly on there they are gorgeous so yes i'm going to have her linked below so that you can go and shop her gorgeous fabrics and then last oh well i say last but not least <laughs> let me just talk about these real quick these little um they're not braided i don't know what you would call that but um so home was a hometown needleworks that did that fabric her mom makes these and i said your mom needs to charge more money for them aren't they the coolest things and both of the colors match this bag that i purchased from barbara so i put them on there because i just think they're so cute but um yeah, so Barbara also had a vendor booth there selling her bags, and I was super happy to have a Halloween bag. I don't have many Halloween bags, but this vintage fabric is just fabulous. I love it so much. I love this um, big brick rack, and anyway, it's so cute, and it, she quilts them very nice, and then inside is some pumpkin fabric. And then her signature is the angel charm that is like every bag maker has their signature type thing and um, that's hers and then here's her Barbara John's creations so yeah oh it says stitching with Grammy on that one but anyway super cute bag she had a lot of really pretty bags there but you know I broke the bank I broke the bank <laughs> so anyways that is the haul that i got at the retreat now saving the best for last this box is what we got um saturday afternoon it was i'll show you the ribbon but it had a beautiful ribbon over it it looks so cute sitting in our in our spots and um you know chrissy got up and she talked about um her ties to uh, Michigan and it was just fabulous I kept getting the goosebumps because I was like oh my gosh I know that place I've been there I'd love you know what I mean that type of thing of course she did talk about things that she's like you've never been there I'm like no <laughs> never even heard of it it's kind of funny so anyway this beautiful homespun ribbon was on it with a photograph of our project was wrapped around that box and so when you opened it, it had lovely tissue paper. The first thing that you saw was this amazing watercolor print. And um, she had just a nice little write-up on the back. And along with two recipes, a lasagna recipe and... No, just her lot. Someone said there was two recipes. No, lasagna. But what I love about her recipe is that there's pepperoni in it so I think that's interesting and I want to try it I have a recipe for lasagna that my family family just 
raves about. So they might be a little upset if I change it, but I can make maybe half that recipe for just coming and I. <laughs> um, oh, shoot. Oh, and Donna gave me her sucker. This, we got all the floss. Oh, I didn't show you the pattern first. Well, let me show you the goodies first. I love this when you're at retreats. Who doesn't need a cute little thing of Kleenex? However, I don't want to use them because it's just too stinking cute. Then we got, oh, I, this is from someone else. I don't know how that got in there. Then she gave us cute little, um, don't forget to floss, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> charm, apple cider, yum, yum. We got a highlighter so that when you are working on your pattern, you can highlight where you've been. We got bubble gum and some mints in there and then we also got this adorable <laughs> this adorable pad of paper now I wish I would have had the wherewithal to go around the room and have everyone sign it that was dumb of me not to do that because it would just would have been so cute that's what it was intended for but you know again you're at a retreat it's busy you go to breakfast and then you stitch and you talk and you visit and then you go to lunch and then you do you know what I mean it's like anyways she hand painted Matilda on every single one and glued a little bow on every single one is that not precious Chrissy she thought of everything super super nice and then I'm gonna wait I'm just keeping you in suspense and then we got all of our floss for our final project with this cute little sucker stuck in the center of it I just think that's a really cute presentation I have an extra sucker because Donna said give it to one of your grand or give it to your grandkids now I have two which is perfect our piece is called Main Street and it is fabulous I will insert pictures Right after I show you this, I'll insert pictures of her holding it because it's fabulous. So I'm going to link her floss tube channel in the description box because she will go into detail of what all of these different storefronts mean to her. Um, I'm not going to do that because I think that that is something that should come from her. But every single building has something to do with her time living in Michigan. You can see uh, Matilda the mouse is over here. How stinking cute is that? The flower pots, the flags, the church, the coffee shop, the stitch shop, the bakery, and a fabric shop. So cute. So it's called the Main Street. Very, very cute. Love it. Love it. And it's I don't remember what she stitched on. Does it say? I love the size that hers was. It was on 30 on thirty count uh, Weeks Dye Works parchment linen. And normally I do 40 count. But to see all the detail, it was beautiful. And she had it matted and framed it's so beautifully. So I'm inserting pictures now as I'm talking so you can see how pretty it was. So Chrissy, thank you so much. This was Chrissy's first time being the guest designer at a retreat and i'm telling you girl you knocked it out of the park and um i'm sure you will be doing many many more and um i'm just so happy for you okay yeah is that it oh and i did find something else in my this is from deb brown it's some she gave everyone some antique buttons and there's a little poem on the back that i'm going to read to you it says i am an old button on a safety pin wondering if I will get used again. I may be a bit dusty and have some string, but I know there is beauty I can bring. So please give me a wash and you will soon see that once again, cute as a button I will be. That is just so stinking cute and so clever. Thank you so much, Deb. That is just, I'd never heard that poem before. It was very sweet. I think that is it, you guys. Holy Toledo. I don't know how long this video is gone, but it's going to be over an hour. And then um, stick around because I am going to show you. First, I'm going to do a video. I think I took video. It's 
some video of the retreat center and some pictures from the retreat center and then i'm going to go into a video and some photos of the solder village rug hooking week so thank you everyone for joining me today i hope that you found some good things here that maybe enabled you and um i i really hope that all of you can attend a retreat at some point um there's nothing like it because you are in a room full of people like-minded people that love the same thing and just the stories everyone has a story i love hearing about when people stitched who taught them to stitch so many stitchers are also talented in other ways they make quilts or they make project bags and there's just there's just so much talent out there and and it's so fun to meet everyone and by the way i have new glasses what do you think i cannot wait to go and get them adjusted because they want to be here all the time so i need to go get the the back of them so that they come around my ear a little bit better but anyway sorry squirrel so <laughs> but if you can ever re attend a retreat do it um there are online retreats as well i know annabelle is doing some i know that there's one called stitching friends or i can't remember um sue hillis and a couple other designers put that one on that's friend stitch i think it's called friend stitch that goes on every year the jingle ball is coming up december the first weekend of december that is kind of similar to a retreat in the fact that there's shopping there's entertainment which i suppose there's not really entertainment at a retreat but uh you know there's the jingle ball i will talk more about it in as it gets closer but there's entertainment there's uh, shopping and the shopping is exclusive i last year i sold original paintings i sold some of my punch needle models uh there were exclusive designs that i created just for the jingle ball that will be coming out now you know towards christmas what else um and then there's stitching rooms so they had the stitching rooms divided by category so like if you are on the other side of the world <laughs> you know you want to you're up at a certain hour and so you can hang out with those people uh, once the ball starts the jingle ball starts friday i think at 5 p.m or something like that and it goes 24 3 i guess it would be it goes it never shuts down until it closes on Sunday. So you can shop in the middle of the night. You can stay up all night and stitch in the Zoom rooms with people. Um, there's also uh, Zoom Q&As with each of the designers. There's just so much stuff to do. And, you know, if you plan on doing the Jingle Ball, make it like it's like treat it like a retreat. Treat it like you are going to a retreat. You're going out of town and try not to schedule or plan anything for that weekend so that you can take full advantage of everything that the Jingle Ball has to offer. So I will have a link below as to where you can. No, they're not selling tickets yet, but I, I can put the link below anyway so you can go and check it out the website at least and maybe put it in your schedule. There should be an announcement on there when they will have the tickets for sale. So just know I'm working diligently behind the scenes on some Jingle Ball goodies and some fun things to, to come for that. So anyways, thanks again for joining me. Thank you for all your love and support. Don't forget, create every day. Bye. So this building here is where the retreat is. It's the pool chapel. Over here is where we're gonna have a bonfire possibly, weather permitting. There's um, places to stay over there. I think only a couple ladies are staying over, staying over there. I'm not sure what that office or that building is. I think it's the office. And then this big building here is uh, 
There's some rooms in there. That's where Donna and Darcy and I are staying. And then there's like a, it's like a retreat center in there. And then there's another building past this big building. And that's where we have our breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Isn't it cool? It's very well kept. It's very nice. They had all new landscaping done this year. But yeah, see all the, this building over here? That's where we eat. So yeah, I'll show you. This is the Littleton Lodge. So I'll show you what we got going here. I love the umbrellas right there. Look at our room, it's so cool. We're gonna leave our window cracked tonight so we can hear the water. Well, that's just the screen. Anyway, can you hear that? Oh. And it's like 65, 68 degrees today, it's beautiful. <laughs> 